Hello people, my name is Prakash Mathani and today I'm back with a SharePoint Online tutorial that is how to create manage metadata filtering in SharePoint Online and SharePoint 2013. So how we can do that is I have created a document library here and I've added few document over here and this is my country column which is man manage metadata column and I'm filtering document based on this manage metadata column. So how your key filtering or filtering options look like is this in the left hand side you can see that there is a different country option coming up here because I am filtering document by this country column so when I select a particular country name only the document with that particular country name in a country section will be coming up here and below there there is a key filter option you can apply modify check out to create it by you can customize these filtering option according to your needs and so first of all we'll see how we create this and we'll see further how we can actually filter the document so to create a metadata navigation filtering you have to go to your site setting first to check whether our metadata navigation filtering is on or not so in a site action there is a manage site feature go there below there metadata navigation filtering option we have to just check whether it's active or not active so if it is not active it will show up you like this we have to just click on active and it will be active so I have by default active it and <clears throat> now go to uh, create a document library uh, whichever document library you want to create I have created a test new document library and here I'm going to create a column in this particular document library go to your library setting create a column let's suppose I'm creating a column with region and you can select it manage metadata and there is a two option either use your default taxonomy over there and either you can customize your own so I'm creating my customize so the reason will be coming up here and once I click on OK so this is how your region coming up here so to add a document to your <coughs> region metadata go to your site setting there is a term store management unsighted site administration go to term store management and there is your site collection so whichever team site you are working on there is a reason click on this drop down and create term here so i'll be creating few country name here And once it is done go to your site setting again and back to your this new test column so what I have to do is I have to just add a few document here so I'll be adding some document and how can I add a document here is <coughs> just select all your document drag and drop here So once my document is added here, I have to just add a region section on this particular document. So I can do it by using quick edit. So when it's coming up here, I can put some country name here. I'm Just simply type the name and there will be option coming up here So once it is done click on view and your data will be saved <coughs> so this is my data it's saved here now and what i have to do i have to go my library setting and inside my library setting
there is metadata navigation setting under general setting and you have to just go there and you can see there is a by default a folder added in selected hierarchy field you have to just remove it because we're gonna filter according to our region so I have to just click on region and add it here and now there is a different option showing up here these are your column which have you created in document library so you can filter document according to them so once first it will filter according to a region and after that you can apply key filter so let's suppose I'm applying by created by and that is modified and region I've already added you can also put your anything you want so I'm just putting two of there and once it is done just click on OK <coughs> and go to your library and there you can see that there is a reason coming up here now and you can filter document according to your country whichever country you want so let's so see that so I've selected India and the documents where the reason is India are coming up here if I select China the related document coming up here if I select UK over there right so this is how your metadata navigation filtering works and you can apply your key filter over here and let's suppose that uh, you can select a created by so right now it's only me who have created the document if there is a different people who are contributing on the particular document library you can see which person have contributed so and on modified you can select on before if I select today's date today is four if I apply key filter here so there is no document coming up because today is the 5th of April and I'm applying key filter on 3rd of April. So this is how your metadata navigation filtering work and you can filter your document or large document library by using these key filters. So you can apply here your multiple key filters. So let's suppose I'm filtering by region. You can filter by region, then different countries, then by different <coughs> state of that particular countries. So you can do it by according to yourself. So thank you so much. In the next tutorial, we'll see that how we can create our own content type. So till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much.